presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling and proud with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So, everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 112, Nasdaq's down 80, S&P's off 2.5. Gold, gold contract down $4, trading at $19.44 an ounce. We have silver down 11 cents, $22.70 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 33 cents, trading out at $83.16 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 20 ticks, trading 110.06. The 30-year of 29 ticks at 120.25 and king dollar. King dollar, trading up 345 ticks at 102.869. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 144. And the British pound is at 127 to 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. Well, we get a little divergence here. It's gonna get interesting. Coming into the close, that is. So what you have here is that that first leg down this morning, you got a high volume low in the S P. And that that baby is sticking out, man. <laughs> like a sore thumb. And that's four four five nine. Okay. Now, if we go over to the NQs, we don't, because the NQs came down, tested it, and rejected it. And if you remember, you know, about three weeks ago, we had the same deal. It was just the opposite, actually. The opposite was that the uh, NQs hadn't tested it, and I think the SPY had. But the bottom line is, is that when we had that, they both end up coming down. As you can see in the NQs, the first low that was established out there was uh, 15,652. And we got all the way back up to the 15,174. No, right? Yeah, 15,174. And bang, you go all the way back down. You can see when we hit it, we hit it with 16,000 contracts versus 29. So... We'll see how this shakes out coming into the close today. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. The note and bond market are going after its lows. Like this side. So we get the 10 year down 20 ticks, trading 110.07. We take a look at this, and this is, this is pretty intense, man. You know, because the bottom line is that we're at the low that the last week that rejected that low. And the low that I'm talking about here is the 110.05. And we hit exactly 110.05 today. So, we'll see where this baby is. Let me put this on a generic one for a second because what you also had is that we hardly had any type of bounce. Yeah, we, did, we definitely didn't have a bounce on this thing. So I'm going to put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so you're... The 
109.33. Okay. 110.07. Yeah, you know, this very well may be going for this uh, 100.27, point, point, uh, which right now, the 30 year is yielding 4.16. And the high is 4.17 US. Let's go to the 30 year and take a look at the 30 year. Thirty has 298,000 contracts traded. And the 30 year had already blown out its lows. So let me go to the generic contract to see where we think we're going here. Put this on a monthly, a five. I'm going to put this on a five-year monthly. Oh, I got to do it longer than that. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. I see. So the 30 is probably going to have to 117. 117 is, yeah, 117.20 is the number. I mean, we did Yeah, we didn't need, we didn't make a 0.618 retracement on that on this last bounce. Four week, you know, the the high would have been uh, 5 weeks ago. So that says it can blow away those bottoms. If we go to the gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract you know, it's teetering right at the swing point right now. You know, it held out here today. But that swing point, it, relating with is uh, 1969, 1939 rather. We hit 1942. Now the volume's contracting in a monster way. But when you look at the dollar, this is telling me the dollar's going to do an ABC up. We got above the B point just barely today, but we're above it. You can see, there's the B point. We're above it, man. So the bottom line is that your projection is all the way up here. The projection on an ABC up would be that 104.670. That is a monster move. And what would be really weird is that if we came down after that. <laughs> See, you know what's so interesting, folks? I've said this many times before, that you can always project when you look at markets, markets always look like they're doing a uh, head and shoulders, bottoms, the top. But look at this. <clears throat> if you're projecting, it's like, oh, hold it. Are you going to go up there, then pull back? That would, like, be a monster head and shoulders, bottom. You know, huge head. You get a shoulder. You go up there. You pull back again. Hey, we'll see what this is going to be. Maybe she's going to shake out. But you, you have a lot of moving pieces here right now. There's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the, the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 99. NASDAQ is down 90. S&Ps are off 5. We have the gold contract down 4. We'll come right back. Candlestick Pattern Analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick Patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstadt will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 101. Nasdaq down 85. S&Ps are down three and a half. Now, check out this deal in New York City, folks. Now, if you happen to live in New York City, this is where this turns into a super deal if you do make over 100 grand. So they put out a billion dollars worth of bonds this week, okay? They're rated AA. Now, they're yielding 4.3%. But what ends up happening, because of the tax structure in New York, that actually would get you a 10% taxable yield. <laughs> because the, there's no taxes on federal, state, and city. So it's pretty wild. So the deal came down. You talk about strong. Uh, retail buyers went after $785 million and the uh, institutionals went after something like 1.1 billion. Um, that's about as strong as you can get, folks, okay? Uh, but that, isn't that pretty wild? So you tax them, then you make a deal when you're going out for the market, right? And you're still only paying 4.35, but 4.35 equals 10. That is amazing. But it's not amazing, you know, if you do the math behind it. And I don't even know, well, it's not, I was going to say, I don't know how they, they can afford it, but, you know, the bottom line is that when you look at either New York or the folks in California, they not only make more money, they pay more taxes, but guess what? They keep making more money. So when you average it out, the, the bottom line is that they're doing something that's, that's why so many people want to be there. That's what it comes down to. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities. We'll find out if we get any volume out here today. You get uh, Tesla's down two and a half bucks. We have uh, Advanced Micro down two and a half. Well, let's go to NVIDIA, because uh, NVDA, this, this baby's going after its gap. Now, this is gonna be a trip, because NVIDIA, you know, had, had, had a high of 482. You're at 409. You're making your way to the first place that to be a support, which is the 394. You're at 410. And then, then you're in for a, like a trip, man, because the, the gap is 306. Look at that. That gap's going to get filled. That thing doesn't stay open, man. So 
This is going to be, uh, let's bring this back for a weekly, because this is pretty, I mean, it went up fast. Yeah, it's coming down with volume. You can see it's coming down with volume. You get an expansion of volume. Yeah, this is interesting, too. You see this? Look at this. Oh, this is really interesting. So this is where I have this on a monthly, a weekly now, right? Well, let me put it on a monthly. It would be better on a monthly. Okay, so on a monthly, last month that we had volume, 419 was the number. It got to 482. But if it digs into this bar, you go all the way back to the bottom of that bar, which is going to be pretty intense. And I'll show you this in the cues, because the cues are going to lead this market down. If you take a look at the cues, you can see they start digging into it. You know, yesterday, the day before yesterday, that's the high volume bar, which is the 372 or 366 already. If I put this on a weekly now, You're going to see the next stop here. Well, the bottom of the strength is 355. If I just take a, let's just take a 0 0.382 retracement. I'll take it from the, here. So 0 0.382 is 349. And you're at 366. The GDX, let's go take a look at the GDX, because what, what has happened out here, even with the dollar up, you know, they didn't, they didn't whack uh, gold out here today. The GDX is doing 7 million, need a lot more volume than that, but it held price. It rejected uh, 28.95, you're at 29.35, but you can see we go up at anemic volume. I don't like what this looks like. My take is that this thing's still gonna break, that's what it looks like. And it's gonna be because of what that good old uh, US dollar is gonna do. We go to the XLE. Well, actually, let's go to the oil market first. So oil pulled back today, 300,000 contracts. This has been a one-way move in an amazing way, actually. Look at this move. I mean, oil went nonstop from $67 to 84 Let's do CL1, see what we come up with. That's the generic contract also. Okay. I'll put this on a weekly. I see. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, we got over the consolidation. Hey, that's saying oil can go to, but that's, that's 90, 93 bucks. Yeah, we're, we're pushing right into this. Let me look at this. So this is 90, this is 83. If I just do it conservatively, 71. That's 95. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like oil wants to keep going. XLE. Let's go take a look at the XLE because it looks like oil wants to keep going there. You, what you did is that you came up to the swing points. You're over the swing points right now, daily and the monthly, daily, weekly, and monthly. And your next swing is right there, man. Put this on a weekly. Oh, I see. This will just take a bit to do it, but it's coming up to it. It's gonna go. It's gonna come up to it. So the last high out here, 94.71. And right now you're at 89.80. Inside the NDX 100, the strength today versus the weakness. eBay is up 2.5%. You got uh, Palo Alto up 2%. Biogen's up 1.7%. Allergen, uh, oh, is that Allergen? Yeah, Allergen is up uh, 1.9. Taken away from it, JD.com's down 5. You got Lamb Research up 4.5. You have uh, Global Foundries off 3.9, and AMAT is off 3.8. So these, uh, these chip companies are getting hit pretty bad. 
Look at that. They ride the chips up, they ride the chips down. That's another indication, folks, okay, that what we have here is that the, you know, the chips brought the NASDAQ up, NASDAQ brings the S&P up, and we're dealing with just the opposite right now, meaning that the chips are bottom line bringing the NASDAQ down, the NASDAQ, you know, pushes the S&P down. That's what's happening here. You know, we go look at, we look at AMAT. AMAT's, you know, in two weeks, it's trading back to uh, the end of June levels. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industrials right now are trading up uh, 119. NASDAQ's down 75. S&Ps are off 1%. Uh, and so check this out. This is this is kind of a, this is a real interesting story, actually. So I don't know what these cards are, but Heist of Magic Cards Rattle Board Games Convention. Um, so August first, two nights before the start of America's biggest board game convention, a camera caught a, a pair of men pulling a pallet stacked high with boxes of Hasbro's Magic 
gathering cards through the Indiana uh, Convention Center. It was a heist, but in lieu of money, the thieves made off with $261,645 worth of fantasy playing cards. We realized immediately that we were one pallet shot, said Zach Rittner, the manager of Pastime Games, the victim of the heist. The initial reaction was mostly dread. He says, adding that the magic cards can hold tremendous value. Now, let's see, I, I've never heard of these things, but I, I gotta tell you a story after this, because it's crazy. This time, the uh, Indianapolis uh, General Court, the biggest targets were just released Commander Masters collection set of 2,400 cards valued at 114,000 and boosters valued at 49,000. They were a couple big tag items like promotion packs. Magic cards have become their own asset, which was clear before 2016. Anyway, so listen to this, folks. <laughs> this reminds me of a, a story a long time ago. And this was a trip in itself. And if you remember, when I was in the coupon business in 1980, and if you, that's when all the frequent flyer things started, the coupon started, you know, if you took a flight, you get a coupon, all this stuff. Well, picture what had happened, what well, this happened one night. So we have people at airports all over the country, right? I had like six or seven airports, right? I'd go airport to airport, you know, at least once a week, could have to give more cash, get more coupons and all this, right? Well, what happened in Boston was all of a sudden, and this was, this was the, actually, this was the first ones, right? This was because what happened is that, oh, this is funny how this works. So check this out. The Trump shuttle had come into Boston. They had just started, actually. And the reason that Trump did a shuttle is that because Eastern Airlines had a shuttle that went Boston, New York, Washington, D.C. And that shuttle to this day is the most used route in the whole United States. It has been then, still is, right? Bottom line is that he came in and what Easton did, Easton said, okay, if you take the shuttle, I'm gonna give you a coupon that is worth 50% off going East Coast to West Coast. Now, the thing that was ironic is that Eastern Airlines only had one flight out of New York and one flight out of Boston going East Coast, West Coast. But what ended up happening is that all the other airlines matched it. So all of a sudden, these coupons were worth a lot of money, okay? So what ends up happening, I'm, I'm going to the airport and, you know, you gotta figure when there's a lot of money involved, you know, the wise guys get involved, right? So what ends up happening, I'm at the airport and there's a whole hoopla la, right? That what ended up happening is that the coupons that were coming in that night into Boston got hijacked in, in the baggage, right? And you're talking about, you know, let's see, I forget what the number was, but you know, it was a good two or $300,000, right? And what ended up happening was this. So check this out, because we were getting offered all these different types of coupons. I'm saying, what a trip this. We're trying to buy coupons one at a time. The wise guys come in. They just hijack the whole freaking thing. They go, you know, it's pretty easy. You, know, you get the baggage handlers. In this particular case, if you know Boston at all, you know, between South Boston and East Boston and Charlestown, that's the airport, man. I mean, forget it, right? It's pretty easy. So make a long story short, what ended up happening is this, is that Eastern Airlines decided that they are not gonna pursue it because the damage would be too much. So this one travel agency that really scored, it was, it was Fox Travel, that's who it was at the time. And he was a big travel agency and that, 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 that probably had, that, yeah, that definitely had something to do with it. He was about the fifth largest travel agency at that time in Boston. He bad bought all the coupons and he had said right to Easton and the rest of them like, hey man, you know, these are your coupons. They bought them, there's nothing wrong with it. The bottom line, they all got away with it. <laughs> they all got away with it. I don't know what's gonna go on this one, but that was, you talk about a lesson, that was like amazing. I mean, you know, I think I was 30 years old at the time and I'm saying to myself, I don't believe this. They just jacked off all the coupons. They sold them to 
one of the biggest agencies, and the agency itself knew, you know, they were probably protected because of the fact they do so much business with Easton. They were claiming, of course, hey, I didn't know this. I, well, there's, you had to know it because there's no way that you could, you know, accumulate. We could, even with as many, you know, kids I had at the airports at the same time, I couldn't buy over, you know, I could get two or 300 a day, but this is like 30 to 40,000 coupons. Yeah, and anyway, as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> Let's go take a look at Google, see what we got out here. A couple of these high flyers. Yeah, so Google, Google's at the beginning of its, it's just getting to the gap. You, what you wanna do now, folks, is this. You wanna find all these equities that have gaps because you just get pushed a little bit more, these gaps are gonna get filled. Google is a big one. Let's go to Apple and take a look at Apple. I don't think Apple has a, a gap, actually. Oh, it has a gap down. Oh, yeah. This is a whole different ball game, man. Let me put this on a weekly. So what happened with Apple here? This is serious business, man. I mean, Apple, you know, went straight up from the 124 up to 199, but guess what? Once it got inside the 187, you're in the, the lower range now. So you're gonna get some support at 176, where we are, is it hit 176 today, 176.55. But you get below that, it's trouble, which is amazing. But that's, that's how this sets, technically that's how this sets up. And then if we take a look at it, and you know, that's, <clears throat> take a look at that trend line. That's a break with conviction. So they might have all the cash out there, but the bottom line is that the way this is set up, there's going to be a lot of money if it's not taken off the table, you know, going to uh, investor heaven or traders heaven pretty quickly. Um, you know, when I just look at, and see, that's, that's the aspect of when you had the Magnificent Seven going up, now you had them going the opposite way. Dow, Dow Industrials up 103, Nasdaq down 83, S&P's up four. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up about 110. You get the NASDAQ down 82. S&Ps are off two and a half. We got a couple targets that want to take a look at the M2 money supply. So look at this. This is kind of intriguing. So here's the money supply, the M2 money supply. It's still going down. You know, the bottom line is that we're back to, well, this gets interesting too, because we've been a lot higher than this, even just, uh, what is that? This is a month over month change, I think. Or is it year over year? One second, what is that? Those dots, uh, I'll get those dots. 23, 22, yeah, this is, this is a monthly chart. So, now what is interesting, now look at this though, M2, I gotta figure out what this is because the money supply, that's the money change month over month. This is the money supply. And the money supply is going back up. So I don't quite know how to wrap my head around that. That's as of 6.30. You can see here's the, this, this this one, to me, makes more sense. You're going up, up, up. You go down, but the last two months we've been going up again. M2, let me find this. Security description. Okay, so let's look at this one. Yeah, it's the same one. This is the one. So the, when you look at this, we were at a low two months ago. And what the, you know what this is? This is what this is going to be. This is going to be the amount of government money that's coming into the infrastructure bills and all of that. That's what that's going to be. You know, so the rates... And then if you take a look at here, you know, Bill Gross, who used to be called the Bond King here, here he's out here yapping today that he thinks the 10 year should be trading at uh, 4.5 versus 4.16. And the reason he's saying that normally what ends up happening is that The 10-year normally traded 135 basis points above the Federal Reserve policy rate. You know, and this guy knows everything about bonds, folks. And they didn't call him the bond king for nothing. Do you know what I mean? This, so I, I can see that. I could definitely see that, man. Particularly because looking at the aspect of that money supply, that the money supply is coming back in. You know, so... Small caps. Let's go into the small caps and take a look at the small caps out here. Small caps that they, they just they just fill the gap. 
Came down with volume yesterday. Yeah, they don't look great. And then you get the meme stock starting to move again. You get AMC. This is this gets everyone going. The lows 366, the high 16. Now this is 26.67% shot position. They got it going a little today. And there's no doubt when they got that going uh, two weeks ago, it went from four dollars and forty cents to six thirty-four. And then closed out at 534, and four days later, it was down at 451. You don't want to own any of these, man. You know, you can trade them, but you don't want to own them. You know, the, the whole dynamic, which is really amazing, the dynamic has changed and continues to change in the market. And the biggest change has to do with the amount of trading inside the option market that bottom line affects the equity market, you know, because now you can trade so many different options, folks, and they're penny wide. Penny wide means that between the buy and the sell, you get a penny. And, you know, you're only paying for the contract, 65 cents a contract, right? Uh, the 65 for 10, what am I going to do? 100, I do 65 dollars. Yeah, so it's 65 for 10. So it's, it's like insane. You know, I mean, that, that is a huge change. Now, if you saw, today there's an article in the uh, Bloomberg. Is it the Bloomberg or Wall Street Journal? I forget. I would read both of them in the morning. And what it is is this. Everyone's on one side of the buy rates right now. So you get the buy rates. You get selling calls against stock. And it's so lopsided at this particular point that if there is a downtrend, <laughs> okay, the turn in that is going to accelerate the turn in general. And that can happen very quickly, you know, because the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, when you're doing that, you're picking up nickels in front of a steamroller. But that can last for a long period of time. In the 90s, right? In the 90s, folks, that worked for almost 94 and yeah, 94 to 98, 99. That worked in an incredible way. And then it got wiped out in all of three or four months. I mean wiped out. There's people that had made a fortune all the way up, little by little by little, and then wipe out city, just like nothing. Um, so you gotta make sure you know what you're doing and what the risk parameter actually is. You know, that's, that's the reality. That is the reality. You know, don't forget, folks, our man Teddy Cakes, that he's going to be doing a webinar for you coming this Monday. Candlestick charting, that's going to go from 4 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. It's only $95. Check it out on the front page of our website, at TFNN. And if we go over to the E-minis, it looks to me like, and this is something you're going to want to remember next week, is that when we take a look at this, the E-mini, again, is going to have a high volume high, a high volume low. I don't think it's going to get hit today. You want to remember this, okay? Because if I bring you back, you're going to see that every one of these have got hit. <laughs> you know, a couple of them didn't, you know, got hit the, the next day. But the bottom line, they're going to get hit. So if you're an intraday, intraday trader, you want to be, totally be aware of this. Not, from, not if you're investing, okay? This is just a lot of noise in the context of where the market wants to go. But if you're trading intraday, it's really important to understand because, you know, if you get, let's say you get a market that pops higher, it's awesome. That's a, I call that a gift from the trading gods because the, real, the, reality, the reality is, is that if you get something that pops higher, you can do the correlation about what bar it's going into and you know that you have this bar out here that's a high volume bar that's lower. And so you can set up your risk parameters and in trades like that, you know, you're going for a lot more than, you know, a one to two. You're going for a one to five. That's how that, that's how that normally works. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 91, NASDAQ down 93, S&P's off six and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. It's Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 109. You get the NASDAQ down 87. S&Ps are off about four and a half. Let's just go see what kind of volume we're going to get on indices out here. So we are getting, it's light volume, man. 490, you're going to be, you'll be out, you'll be, looks to me like it's going to be under 900,000. And on the composite, you're going to be at 450, 4.5 billion, which is light volume for the composite. If we take a look at the composite, yeah, see the composite though. The, the, the composite and the NDX, they're in the next leg down right now. That's what's happening. When you take a look at this, you're going to see quite clearly, you know, if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see they're, they're into this next leg down. Now, if that's where we go, that's going to bring you back to uh, the end of May. And particularly the price point here, well, let's do it this way too. Let's see what a 0 0.382 is. It's a little less than a 0.382, a little more actually than a 0.382, the bottom of it. So I suspect that's where we're going. But that is a huge pullback because of the fact that we went up so dramatically. So a 0.382 on the way down is pretty intense. That's how this thing works. You always got to remember when you're dealing with the percentages, okay, the, it, it depends on what are the points you're coming off of. That, that tells you a huge amount. Um, in, in a monster way, too. 
We're going to take a look at the, we'll hit the IWM. I know I want to hit the, the GLD actually before we sign off for the weekend. So the GLD, yeah, it's light volume. The GLD is holding. Yeah, so the low in the GLD is the, well, the, the swing low is 175. We're at 177.62 right now. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Building wealth.